JP Morgan initially uh, traded up. Now it, it is down a, a little bit. The, the number uh, looks like it has some special items in it, $6.12. The range, 6 12 was uh, what they reported. The range for analysts was 396 to 463, and the estimate was 419. So there's probably the an accounting is game. Yeah. 440, 440 versus okay. 419 estimate. 419. We'll see whether it actually goes up. $50.2 billion uh, was above expectations on revenue, 49.87. Uh, uh, what I always look at, the, and the book value, $111 now, um, basically. And rarely do you trade it almost two times book. It, it is the best uh, of the banks and, and commands the highest evaluation. Some of the other things that you see, um, Melissa, they're talking about charge-offs. It seems like a big no. It's a huge bank, so I don't know whether this is worse, but $2.2 billion worth uh, of net charge-offs and credit costs uh, of $3.1 uh, billion. But, you know, it, I think most of these numbers are probably best in class. You, you, we always, you know, you don't even usually have to check for J.P. Morgan. It's a quality. Um, obviously, it's head and shoulders above most of the other uh, major banks mm -hmm. uh, that we talk about. Uh, assets under management up 15%. Um, Leslie, you did a you had estimates for a, a bunch of these, like uh, non-interest, net interest income, all those, uh, all those different things. They're all out here, so yeah. you, you're going to hang out and look at. You I'm, do I'm that hanging. These, I'm digging hang through it right now. And, and do all uh, do all those as well. Uh, it, it seemed like it was moving higher once Wells Fargo's uh, numbers came out. It seemed like J.P. Morgan got affected too. Al right. Although uh, I don't know whether there's actual credit issues or not. Maybe they're. We're down a percent on JPM right now.